Hey Warriors, it's Coach Josh and it is Thursday morning and we are here at the end of April, uh, almost the beginning of May and the quarantine continues. The quarantine challenge rages on. And already I can see, I could, uh, as I look around the, the neighborhoods and buildings, I see more traffic, I see more people outside, I see people going back to work. And I know that uh, in, you know, in the early part of May, a lot of services are gonna resume and uh, things will go back to the way they were before, which can be quite dangerous. And I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of times, a lot of people are in a hurry to get somewhere, but they don't exactly know where they're going. And if you look at what this uh, last six weeks has shown, I see people who are, um, you know, they're stuck at home, they're, they're not going anywhere, but they don't even necessarily know where they wanna go. They're just mad that they're not getting there faster. And, and so it's time to make sure that you're taking stock of what this experience has given you um, and has illustrated you, has revealed to you about what it is, who it is you are, who it is you are and what it, what it is you want and where it is you want to go. And like some of the things that, that I've noticed are that, you know, I, I, I get better sleep. I'm sleeping more. Maybe I wasn't as well rested as I was, as I had wanted everyone to be. Maybe I wasn't practicing everything that I was preaching. Um, I, I, one of the things I do since um, I, I, I go up and down to my uh, building a lot and the elevator is always occupied and we're not supposed to be close to each other, so I take the stairs. And I actually like taking the stairs. And that's a little thing that I could have been doing this whole time, but I wasn't just because of habit, right? I, I'd become locked in this automated routine of making things easier on myself, but not necessarily better. So uh, whether it's your fitness, whether it is your uh, your education, whether it's your mind, your, whether it's your uh, relationships and how you're spending time with people and who you're reaching out to and how you're connecting with them, what are you going to take away from this experience that's benefited you or that continues, that could continue to benefit you when life resumes to normal? And I don't think it's going to return to the way it was before uh, for a long time, if ever. So I question and I reach out and I, I ask you, what are you gonna take away from this experience that's gonna make you better, that's gonna make you, help you grow, that's gonna allow you to be more of the person that you wanna be, uh, rather than just getting back to where we're at. I already see it. People are in a hurry to get back to their, their job where they're rushed, they're not, they're not able to take care of their health, they're not able to spend time with their family, they wanna get going again to make it what it was before, even if what it was before wasn't necessarily the best thing for them. So. I'm going to take the stairs. What are you going to take from this experience? Something big, something small, it's up to you. Right now, I'm going to give to you a wonderful strength workout. We're going to work up a sweat today. It's going to be a hot one because we're going to do a lot of work uh, on the legs. We're going to do a lot of work on the upper body and the core, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So uh, let's get this party started. All right, so let's loosen up the hips. We are gonna do a couch stretch. I've got my couch right here. I'm taking my foot and putting it on the couch. My knee goes on the ground. I'm gonna tilt my pelvis back, straighten out that spine, reach up, breathe. Going up high. Going to the side. Whew. Loving it. So I'm stretching my lat. I'm stretching my quad, hip flexor. Whew. Leaks on that side. Oh man, so good. We're gonna go to the other side. I'm only gonna go about five breaths here. So pace yourself as accordingly. Here, knee on the ground. Opening up the hip, oh. Reaching all up. Again, it's really there's a tendency to wanna to arch the back when you reach overhead. So you're gonna grab that arm, pull it to the side, tilt, open it up that oblique, stretching that lat. Whew. Two more big breaths. Whew. Loving it. Oh man. Whew. Couch stretch complete. Excellent. 
We're going to go into a dynamic walk around lunge. There's a yoga name for this. I don't know what it is, but I know there is a yoga name for it. We're going to be here on the double wide stance, planting my hand inside of my heel, walking all the way out, walking all the way back, coming in, rotating up. So I'm walking around and I'm pushing through my pinkies, keeping those shoulders on, chest on, keeping those, that serratus anterior active all the way out. Already hips are giving way, feeling going deeper and deeper each stretch. Rocking that rolling, coming on out. So good. I'm gonna go one more time each side. So groins open, hamstrings, abs, hips, looking good. Snap, crackle, pop. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of squats and lunges. So we're gonna do some bird dogs, some hip stuff. Hip stuff, that's a technical term. I'm here. Now, I want my abs and my glutes to fire together, so I'm gonna tilt my pelvis so it's neutral. Back is flat. And I'm gonna reach forward, kick back. It's normal to wanna kick up high and arch, but I don't wanna do that. I actually wanna get long. Pressing out with my guts, making it happen. Going slow, but not too slow. Again, I'm not trying to make this a physical therapy session and get it perfect. It just needs to work. I need to feel that in my gut and my butt. If you're doing that, you're doing it right. So, got our groin, hips. We're gonna do some downward dog. Stretch out the uh, hamstrings, calves. Get that neck going. And then we're gonna get this party started. So I'm here. A lot of yoga today, huh? So I'm here, and I'm uh, kicking my butt into the air. I'm gonna tuck my elbows in, and I'm gonna pedal my heels to the floor, trying to stretch out those calves and hamstrings. Then I'm gonna dive bomb, look up, take a breath, come back, look up, or look down, Pedal, again, getting those calves going, drop down, up, breath, come back to the beginning. Simple. Making sure all those joints work. We're going to warm up the squat with a squat with hamstring bias, and then we're going to get going. So I'm here, and I'm, my feet are shoulder width apart, toes pointed gently out, and I'm going to drop down. Grip the toes, butt down, chest up. I'm gonna inhale, reach up, exhale, come down. Inhale, reach up, exhale, come down. Chuck chin to chest. Come back down. Inhale, inhale. Ah. So as I stand up, I exhale, but I inhale, when I reach overhead, that helps my spine extend and lift. When I tuck my chin to my chest, helps it flex and bend. Whew. Doing five of these. Do one more. Ah. Okay, now for our training today, we're gonna to do, again, five sets of five for our upper and lower drills, our single arm push-ups, or our explosive push-ups, and our pistol squats. Now, whatever you choose for a push-up, you could do an explosive push-up from a couch, nice and fast and explosive, boom, boom. You could do it uh, a uh, explosive push-up from the floor, 
like a traditional clapping push-up if you want to do that. Or you could do a single arm push-up, which is probably the hardest thing to do. That, that really takes uh, some core strength and some upper body strength with your feet wide. But I'm going to only do, even if you're really strong, you're only going to do five or six reps of whatever you choose. So you're going to pick out your pick out your, your station, do a couple of practice reps to get the brain fired up in that pattern. So explosive push-up, single arm push-up, whichever you're going to do. Then you're going to swap that out with a pistol squat. So I'm going to be sitting here in front of the couch and I'm going to start with my off leg. So my left leg is my weaker leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to descend, touch, explode up. Descend, touch, explode up. Descend, touch, explode up. So I'm leaning forward, getting tight, leaning forward, touching, coming back out. I don't want to fall down to the bench. Uh, I want to sit down. So then I'll match it with my other side. So go ahead and do four reps per leg. Pulling yourself down to the floor or to the couch. Touch. Oops, kind of fell down on that one. Three. Four. So we're going to go back and forth. We're going to do a set of push-ups, a set of pistol squats. I'm going to rest about a minute. So I've got the clock ticking here. You got it at home. We're going to go ahead and get this party started. So let me see your push-ups and then your pistols. You're going to do these, and then you're going to rest about a minute. So I'm going to get started. I like to practice these. Going, squeezing that fist. I'm going to start with one. Don't forget to breathe. Whew, it takes a lot of pressure to get that going. So I hit my push up. Now I'm going to do my pistol squat. I'll start with my left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was pretty challenging. One. Don't forget to exhale. Don't forget to breathe. Using your core, but you're breathing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Minute of rest. Wow. Huh. That is, I don't know if that's getting easier or harder, but that is, uh, I would say, I am getting better at the reps. So hopefully you're in a process where you're getting better at your reps. So today, Challenge yourself. If you've been doing it from the couch, try to do them from a low stool or ottoman or the floor. So try to just maybe do fewer reps, but bring that intensity up. Bring that challenge level up. I'm gonna go back my second set of five. I'm gonna see how I go. almost feel like I could do another rep, but not quite. So I'm going to leave it be. Then I'm going to go into my pistols. Second set. One. Notice I'm leaning forward. Knee comes forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. All right, right, right leg. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, round two. Coming up in round three. Let that heart rate down. Hands up, breathing. Get you ready for the next set. It's very important. It's really important that you're letting that heart rate get down so that you can be strong and productive in your next round. I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, I'm gonna go for two push-ups, the same quality that I did before. We'll see how it goes. Just gently pushing myself here, just a little bit. Wow, okay, we'll see how the other side does. Let's do it. Wow. That might have been a little too much. I feel like the, my head's gonna pop like a zit. Let's see how these pistols go. Keep breathing, Josh, you can do it. Oh, fell down. This is gonna be five. Yeah. Okay, five on the right. One, two, three. That was three. Four, five, ha, okay, not bad, all right, so we're only going to do five sets, so that means we're on our last set, thank you, resting that full minute, going to get a sip of water, If you're at home, you might be done. We're going to go ahead and get out your dumbbells for the rack squats and the rack lunges. I'm going to finish my final set here. Drawing myself tight, pulling down. Ooh, that took a lot of energy, so I'm going to do one. Two. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Pistol squats, finish strong. Whew. I'm tired, I'm pacing myself. I'm not gonna try and rush it to get poor form. If I need to break up the reps into pieces, I'll do that. I was kind of falling. Two. Three, four, five. <laughs> wow, not impressed how hard these are. Crazy challenge. Okay, Josh. Yeah, 
four. Good. Wow. Who does these? Oh my God. Cray. Okay. Now that we've survived that, we're gonna go into our squats and our lunges. So a rack squat, you're gonna be holding up a kettlebell, one dumbbell, two dumbbells, and the idea is to have the elbows elevated, okay? So it's two dumbbells, one dumbbell right here. If you have a kettlebell, you can do a goblet. If you have two kettlebells, you can just hold them up here but the rack. So for our first round, let's grab a lighter weight and we're gonna do a set of 10 uh, of squats and lunges on each side. So heels shoulder width apart, toes out, pull myself down into the floor, exploding up. So my uh, back is straight, down, three, four, Five, squeezing the glutes at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Join that. For the lunge, same thing, but we're gonna have to be on one leg. So, we're gonna do ten reps. No rest, going right into it. So, we've been doing reverse lunges a lot lately. I'm gonna try a forward lunge on this one. Stepping forward and coming back. All 10 with the left, then all 10 with the right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now that you've had a taste, of the circuit, we're gonna do two more sets. We're gonna do the squat and the lunge and rest for a minute in between. So, letting that heart rate come down as you survey your weights, see if you can get the right weight. So I'm doing, I'm gonna do 10 reps. I have a moderate weight. If you have a very heavy weight, what you can do is you can drop the reps down to eight, maybe even six. If you have a lightweight, you can do 15 or 20, like we did on Tuesday. So customize it to yourself and your, what you have available. Not everybody has everything. So make it as challenging as it is helpful. Uh, only take on as much challenge as you can benefit from. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna chop this up and we're gonna do our rack squats then we're gonna do our rack lunges. Second set. Here I go. Elbows up. So, dropping down. One, two. I'm gonna modify, I can't hold that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now I'm going into the rack lunge. See if I can manage this. One, two. Try not to touch the knee to the floor. Almost, but not quite. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is wonderful. How challenging that is. Okay. So, as you can see, the stress builds up. Stress builds up. Okay, superhero bows. Letting that cardio come down, heart rate come down, focus return. Now, we could be very strong. Even though your heart rate doesn't feel like it's down by a lot, it's dropped quite a bit just because you could talk. So it means, Coach Josh, it's time for the last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All on one side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ha 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 ha. All right. Whew. Finishing. Finishing up that. That very, very fun circuit. Time to roast our upper bodies. I've got a couple of really good ones for you. Again. We're gonna use our furniture to help us out. So, you should have a couch, you should have a sofa, a chair, or something around. We're gonna do some supported rows. What that means is, I'm going to place my hand on the couch and be in this L stance and pull in a row. Now the fun part is, if you have a cushion, your arm's gonna move. But needless to say, your job is to keep that back straight, nice and neutral, and then pull that humerus up to the line of the rib cage. I'm gonna do 10 on the left, 10 on the right. The other exercise you're gonna do from a kneeling position, and this one's gonna be challenging too. You're going to get on your knees, Take your dumbbell, squeeze the glutes, press up overhead, down, up. So when I'm here, my glutes are on, rib cage is down. So I'm straight, I'm like a pillar, rocking, rolling, whole time. So I'm crushing it, getting my overhead press and my pulls in. So really blowing up the shoulders, keeping the core engaged. Let's get to it. So set one. Again, this is the feeling out set. 10 reps is what we're looking for. You go a little bit higher, a little bit lower based on your weights at hand. We'll be back here. Two, three, four, five, six. Start with your weak hand. Seven or weaker hand. Eight, nine, 10. 
Then I'm going to come through here the other side. Again, that back is arched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there, we're going into this next set of overhead press from the kneeling position before we get our break. Glutes on, rib cage down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. That feels really good. I'm going to stick with that weight for the rowing. I'm going to play around. Maybe a little bit heavier weight for my next set of overhead press. I've got about 30 more seconds to rest, so I'm not in a hurry. Before we get on with our second set. <sighs> Breathing, very important. Upper body, not as cardiovascularly taxing as the lower body, but man, I'm still sweating. Still getting after it. Okay, I'm gonna grab my dumbbell. Back to the second round. One, the elbow just wants to be as high as the rib cage. Shoulder blades slightly retracted on the way up. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Gonna try this double up on the weight. We'll see how that goes. Second round, bring it in. Glutes on, one, two, three. Push those knees apart. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, second set complete. Minute of rest. Back to the back to the back to the main course. Back to the action. All right, what can you get from this? What can you? How can you benefit? I just learned that my right arm is a lot harder to pull on than my left. So this round, I'm going to do that one first. See if it helps me. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. 30 more seconds of rest. And then we're gonna finish strong. So last set. Whew. You're doing great at this point. You're doing great if you're following along at home and you have not passed out. All right, let me get this party started. Last set. Nine, 10. Wow, that took all my focus. So I'm really realizing that I gotta work on these poles, these rowing actions for my right arm. Try it on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. So moving through, going in to our final overhead press. Happy to get these ones done. Not for some reason, they're not as hard. 
as the other ones were for me. Squeezing the glutes. Two. Knees apart. Three. Rib cage down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. All right. So I've got some fun stuff. We're gonna do a couple of uh, exercises here. The tricep from the kneeling position and then a kneeling glute raise. I'm gonna show you these two right now. So this is gonna finish the gut and the butt together along with the arms. So I'm gonna be here in that tall kneeling. We just work how we finish with the overhead press. Glutes pushing apart. Be here. One, two, three. So I'm trying to keep the elbows in as I push the knees apart. It's like a little rub your belly, pat your head kind of thing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shush, this is hard. Okay, here I am. Then I'm down, squeezing the glutes, driving up, down, two. So all I'm doing is doing a hip thrust. Squeezing my, I'm sitting on my feet, squeezing my glutes, pushing my knees apart to hip thrust up. It's kind of fun. Your hamstrings, glutes, nine, and hiya, ten. Whew. Holy hamstrings. It's a lot of time on the knees, walking around. I feel a lot of tension in my lower body, a lot of tension in my abs, glutes, all of those things. So, normal to feel a little tired, normal to feel a little bit exhausted. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds only, which means it's about time for second set. So, cranking that in, a little bit less rest, getting back up at it. And then one, two, three. Try to keep the glutes on. Four, five. So it's an isometric glute hold while you do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ah, ten. Back together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! Round two, 30 seconds rest. So, Target is the abs, the butt, the arms. Basically, if it's, if it's on your body, today we're using it. Hope you enjoy it as much as I am. This is my uh, cleansing of the day. All right. Getting back after it. Tricep overhead. Hip thrust. Last set. So good. This one's gonna feel really good when we wrap it. Ha! Up high. One. Two, elbows stay in. Three, glutes stay on. Four. Five, it's okay if this one's tough. Six, don't crunch your, crunch your face down. Seven, focus on the hands. Palms going to the ceiling. Nine, 10. Coming back, gripping that dumbbell. Elbow high. One, two, three. Doing that hip thrust. Four, drive the glutes forward. Five, like you're trying to pinch a walnut. Our favorite acti activity. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Ha. All right. So, kicking that away. We're gonna do our squats. We're gonna do our knee grabs. This is the dessert section of the training. So, if you wanna get some love, go ahead and grab your weight. Do your 20 squats with a little extra juice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, you do feel that. Now we're gonna go to the knee grabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Ten. Going to the next one. Swimmers. This is kind of the medicine of the whole scenario. Glutes, abs, butt, squats. Those are for fun, for looks, for the heart. This one, this is to keep your neck and back, back in great health. So here I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, do the 20 reps. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, to take it back to where we started this conversation, As you begin your race to get back to where you were, to get back to zero, to the start point, to get back on the path, make sure, warrior, that your, your path is the right one for you. So like check in, you know, where do you want to be spending your time and your energy? Did you miss the office? Did you miss the people there? Did you miss your work? Did you miss your family? Did you miss purpose? Did you miss the sports that you used to play, what did you miss? What are you gonna take away from this that's gonna remind you of who you wanna be? I'm gonna take the stairs, I'm gonna take more time to call people and sing them happy birthday. I'm gonna give a lot more uh, I love yous and a lot more I care about yous than uh, I ever look to receive because those are the things I miss the most. Hope you figure out what your version of taking the stairs is and I hope that you continue to stay on the path to bring forth the warrior within. Oh.